Hello Ace, this is Retro TK2 and today we're back making our Pokemon ROM hack. Last time we set up multiple save states with our Visual Boy Advanced Launcher. So now it'll go back in. This is a weird sort of error of uh, notice to Ace. Whenever I initially try and launch it, it'll just load it in. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't get the focus, so therefore it doesn't get the key events. But then the second time I do it, there's no bother at all. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but it works enough. So we're just going to leave it. One little change I'm going to make is I'm going to change this instead of being a utility window, I want it to be a window that we can dock. And the reason that I want that is because whenever I go back into uh, advanced map, I won't actually be able to click on the actual uh, buttons and if it's a utility window, since it won't actually show that window. So what we want to do is just have it sort of set up that now we can dock it. And then we want to delete the remainder uh, windows as well, just so that we can now put it in at the side there. Now, unfortunately, Unity has like an actual minimum uh, width for its actual windows. So this is the best we can do. But as you can see, I can still get to the state one there. So maybe it might be a better idea to actually, instead of having this all horizontal, maybe just putting it down the side there like that so that we can have it so it can click. Not ideal, Ace, but we'll press on for the moment. Today, what I want to do is I want to add in our very first map. So what I want to do is have it so that all the gym leaders have their own like little den. They're like little, I want to say hideaway, but it's more like their living quarters in their actual gym. And... Yeah, so I've already tried to add in two uh, <laughs> maps at the minute, uh, but they're both under Palatine. It seems that you can't add in new ones without overriding old maps, which is a bit of a shame. But what could happen is that I could have it set up so that it would just be under Pewter City. I think that's probably the best way to do it, to be honest, Ace. So what we're going to do is go into Create New Map, go into Brock's Den, and just pretty much do Create. So we've got the tile set one and tile set two which for the actual pewter city the pewter city that is brock's gym oops sorry this which is six two if we go into header you can see the actual tile set one and tile set two that's just how i got that information there is so nothing too crazy and then i'm just going to call it brock's gym i think it might be a good idea to keep uh our ones at least our maps oops all in lowercase <laughs> oh dear so it looks like that's went away and created that map but uh, there's no bother it's it's although it'll create the map it won't actually save it anywhere else so i might even just do them as underscores as well maybe that might be a better idea i wonder if it'll go actually to the top i wonder if i should just call it pewter city and leave it at that decisions decisions yes i'm not really sure i'm just going to leave it at this here and we're going to go with this and see how we get on uh, width of 20 and height of 20. I believe that you can change that at any time you want. Um, so we'll see. I don't want to see the changes. I want to go into Brock's Den, which we're at. And I want this to be Pewter City, which is here. Fantastic. Music's not necessarily important, but we could just have it as whatever. Oaks thing. Sounds good to me. And I'm not really 100% sure about any of this stuff is, but hopefully this will all just work. So now what we want to do is go up and go to insert map. And then we want to create a new space. And we also want to choose the bank. And since we are saving this in Pewter City, we want to save it in bank 6. So with any luck, it should go in under here. It's 6.8. Fingers crossed. Yes. So click insert. Map was successfully, uh, successfully registered as map 6.6. Or 6.8, sorry. So now if we go into 6.8, you'll see that it's our map. Woohoo. Brilliant, yes. So what I kind of want to do is just set it up so that I just have a just basic this this <laughs> is essentially what I want to do. So that the whole thing is all just blocked out. It's a bit of a shame now. I mean, don't get me wrong, advanced map is very, 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 very good, especially for a free piece of software that you can just download and uh, run around with. The only thing I'm not really uh, the biggest fan is, is that, you know, this, um, unless there's something I'm missing, and which no doubt there is, is that just going in and having to fill in each individual square individually is just a bit of a pain. But I reckon there's probably a way that you can do that and just, you can probably select the whole thing. Oh, 
special fill can. Let me guess, is that is that what I need? Yeah. Well, there you go, Ace. I'm a, a complete fool. <laughs> oh well, but we already knew that. And oh, I see. Okay, so these are the different. That's so cool. You can see the different uh, shadows, actually, of the walls that the the walls make and stuff. So much, so much thought that has been put into this game. You just take so much for granted in uh, in these games. It would nice, be nice to have just a wee uh, rock as well there that we could put in. I guess this is the actual uh, rock that Brock uh, goes onto. If you remember that you actually uh, set yourself on in order to actually stand. So it'd be cool to actually have it so that we could set um, our actual player on top of that rock. I think that'd be pretty cool. But, um, you know, maybe you could have it so that this was like more... What if we should actually put in just stairs there or something like that? Not really sure, yes, but it doesn't really matter, let's be honest. So just the most important part is that we can get into this place and that we can get out of it. And if you remember last time, I believe it was this TV that should be... Hopefully this is this is the TV that we're trying to go for. So I'm going to save that and go back into Pewter City 6.2. Uh, Oops. And it was that one. Okay, brilliant. So then that means that we can set it up so that hopefully this will go to so what I want to do is add an event. Okay, so what we do is we do we don't want a personal event, we want a warp event. And mark is active sprite. We want number of warps, we want it to be that. Change events. And that should be us. Hopefully good to go. And we want it to warp to number is it one? I believe it is one. Uh, map bank six two and yeah that should be that hopefully okay <laughs> why is it not working oh dear okay so go to save changes yep okay well we've got the correct map pack we just haven't got the correct it's really strange the way that's doing that is so it goes to sh I, I clicked show Show sprites, and for whatever reason, it it's warping back. Oh, okay. So map connect. Okay, map connections is the issue. Okay, so those have some reason switched. Is that correct? Not sure why that's happening, Ace. But hey, whatever. So we put the warp over our warp again, and we want it so that the person can go into there. We want to do that through Pewter City. We want to save that. Of course, we do. And we want to add in a new event. Or maybe that's it. Maybe it's because because I'm creating that new map from scratch. Perhaps it's not giving me the... Well, I'm not sure. Yes, not sure. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Not unimportant. Um, I want to add in another warp. So we go into change events. We get a nice warp here. And I want this to be bringing us to... You guessed it. 6-8. Six, 6-8. Eight. Six, eight, warp number one. Go to... Save changes, perfect. Okay, good. So that's all set up, and we also want to set up our tile, which is the old TV. Now, hopefully, this will all work. Yes, we shall see. Let's go back into here, go and load up number two. And as you can see, we actually haven't even got it loaded. And as you can see, it doesn't even work at all. Yes. Oh dear, what's going on? What is going on? So all of our warps have just decided not to work at all, Ace. That's not good. Even by my standards, that's pretty bad. Okay, let's get stuck in and see what's going on here. Okay, map bank, we want to go to there. We know that the number of warps is okay. Map bank, six, eight. Okay, fair enough. We're going to state one. Does work, okay, good. That does let us go into here, and it does seem to work okay. So maybe it's because I've changed it and then saved the state, and the state doesn't quite know where it is. Let's try a save state here, and then we'll go and see if it worked. Yes, look at this. Oh, yes. And it brings us straight back. Brilliant. 
So now we've got Brock's gen, uh, Brock's den, should I say, yes. And uh, as you can see, we can just walk all over the uh, rock, which is brilliant. So now we can uh, we can add in our so now we can add in our actual maps and we could go a wee bit further. I wonder if I should just leave that there and uh, call that an episode because I kind of want to go on to shell it out a wee bit more. We'll, we'll continue on a wee bit of this, I think. Yeah, because a lot of the stuff I want to do is just going to be linking up uh, more of this. Yeah, so it's going to just be linking up more of this stuff. So as you can see, we've already got a... You see, I'm wondering whether or not... Now we're getting into the design mode, yes, because... No, I don't actually want to save that. I'm not really sure where to put his his den. And usually whenever you're thinking about gaming as well, uh, or computer games in general, hopefully all the gyms are actually in two. No, they're not. Oh, well. Usually whenever you're thinking about design or whatever, you want to try and make it consistent for the player so that the player knows to go into. So if we look at Computer City here for a moment, I'm thinking up here would be a good place for him to get into his, uh, his den from. So if he presses that button, then he just shoots up and then arise back in his den, wherever that is. The thing is, though, that I don't know if that's going to work with all the other uh, with all the other maps themselves. Although hopefully it will. I'm not sure. So there's the gym there, and we can just go go to, and it should bring us straight to Map Bank. Perfect. Although they do all have those sorts of little things, so I wonder if we could. Hmm. Let's have a look at Vermilion and see how we're getting on there. And let's have a little look at Surge's gym. They all do have that little uh, emblem on the back, yes. So I do. I am. I'm tempted to make that our point of, uh, like, make that like a button. So oh, den button's been pressed, and then we have like a little teleport into the, into the actual den uh, part of it, which I think would be pretty cool. I think it would be really cool. I'm just not really sure. Okay, let's have a little look at Cinnabar Island. And let's have a little look at Blaine's Gym. Blaine's Gym is there. And I want to go to there. And hopefully it'll be a fire emblem. Hey, perfect. Okay, so yeah, I think that's probably the best way to do this. Yes. So we could have it actually that this uh, we press this and it would probably open a door. It uh, might be a little bit difficult. It would probably require quite a bit of uh, work in terms of uh, creating the tiles. So maybe I'll just keep it as the shooting up and shooting back down because that, that works fine. And uh, we'll do it for the Pewter City, Pewter City aspect. So now we're, what we're doing is going into movement positions and we want to make this C, I believe. C. Okay, cool. And then we want to make it so that you can... Well, certainly we want to make it so that you can go behind here. Do we want to make it that you can go on those walls? That's probably not a good idea. So we're going to keep them off limits. And make it so that... Okay. Definitely don't want to go into these rocks, though. I want to keep them off limits. And... That looks okay, so let's save that and let's go back into our states. And let's move around. Oh, flip, <laughs> I forgot. Uh, oh dear, okay, okay, uh, let's, uh, let's not override that state. Let's instead go in and uh, override that state. And uh, let's try and get past <laughs> this gym without actually alerting any of the guards. So as you can see, now we can go behind it. We want to make it so that we can clip into there. I wonder if we should make it so that you can actually walk over these. Probably not, yes. Probably not. We want, probably want to make this whole sort of area just cordoned off. And we probably want to make it so that it's obvious that you can go up there. But I don't think that this tile set actually has a suitable stairs that we can use. No, maybe it does, and I'm just being silly. See, I don't really want to change it because I like the idea of keeping it um, relatively no the original Pokemon, if you know what I mean. What's this one be like? Oh, oh that's uh, that's definitely not ideal. Let's uh, let's abort that for a moment. Something like that doesn't look great. Is doesn't look great. Well, we could make it. I suppose that it was a bit more sandy just up there. I suppose. 
Mm, I'm not exactly in love with this at all, Ace, so I'm not really sure. I can do the eyedropper on this. Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, and then we should... Yeah, okay, perfect. Um, hmm. Didn't want to change it, but then ended up changing all of it. It would seem at the minute. Yeah, not in love with this at all, Ace. Um... Um, hmm. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to make a tile. Let's be honest. It's it's going to have to happen. Maybe next episode I'll have to make a tile so that you can go up there so that we can make it just... so that I kind of want to make it so that it, it'll blend into that and make it look like it's an actual uh, steps up there. We could make it this here was the steps instead. Then we're crossing into two tiles. Or we could make it so that these were the steps instead. And then you could just step over like this. Something like that, maybe, is yes. Could work very well. I kind of like this one, though, up the middle, though, because I think it just, uh, if we we're going to make it so that these were closed off, it would mean that you could just make that whole thing closed off and then just make it so that you could just go up there instead. Not sure. Not important at the minute. What's important is making it so that this event is up here and that it can be triggered okay well it's going to be triggered using our trusted transporter tv module but i okay but i do want it to be that on the events so that now we're getting in the script in this so i want to kind of make it so that on the event uh Whenever you go up here and actually press this thing, so press A at that button, then it'll sort of warp you out of way. And that's gonna take probably just a wee bit more time to implement. So for the moment, this'll do, I think, as a, yeah, as getting it getting it up and running, getting us at least firing uh, in some way. So let's see if we can load in here. And as we know, none of our warps work. No, they do work, okay. So why didn't it work before, Handius? Maybe it's because we were adding in the actual warp. It's F2. Let's walk around him and go up to here. And as you can see, we go straight into our Brock's Den, which is absolutely fantastic. Yes, so I'm inclined to leave it there. I think that the episode's gone on long enough. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the work, it's coming along nicely, slowly but surely, uh, but coming along nicely. So yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe, yes. I'm having an absolute blast making this Pokemon Rome Hulk. It's really good fun. You can email me at retrotk2 at gmail.com with anything you like. Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video.